As I promised you that we will practice dependency injection, Dagger 2, Rx Java, and more advanced tutorials and topics in Android in real applications that we are going to create. So in this video, I will start making a real application, uh, a, a standard application that we are going to start dependency injection, Dagger 2, and we are going to implement Rx Java later on. So hello my friends and welcome to Master Coding channel on the complete Android developer course on Udemy. In this tutorial and this series, uh, we have learned about dependency injection in the theoretical way. And in this video, we will start the practical section. So I will create an app that will fetch the data from a Stack Overflow uh, website and fetch the questions and display them into a recycler view. And when the user click on it, it will give you, uh, give him and direct him to the details of this question. So it is very basic application. We are going to use retrofit. We have learned before how to use retrofit in the previous sections. So if you learn, uh, want to learn more about the retrofit and how to implement it, uh, go back to the section. Otherwise you will learn everything in this uh, in this uh, tutorials so you are on the right track first of all we will learn how to build this application this uh, uh, stack overflow api uh, app, AP, uh, app that fetches all questions uh, or the most active questions uh, and display them into the list activity and then details activity the first way or the first thing we need to use the uh, ordinary methods. And later on, we will start learning how to make our application clean architecture uh, with clean architecture, advanced and the professional uh, code uh, writing, writing. And we will learn how to make dependency injection and using the dagger to and later on with Hilt. So welcome again and we will start building our application let's start building the ui of our application so the activity main layout i will remove the text and drag and drop a recycler view so i will add the constraint for it zeros and zeros and i will give it an id as a recycler again guys our uh, main concept or our main goal of making this application is to learn and practice dependency injection and not using the, uh, the ui or not putting um, many efforts on ui i will make it is uh, it as uh, primary so the layout i will make a new resource file layout underscore question underscore list item this is the uh, ui of the question in the list Again, I will remove it and make a linear layout. Configuring the width for ma match parent and height for wrap content. Orientation is vertical. Sometimes I will paste some codes in order to save time. So like this, I pasted the text view. This is the text view. Okay. You can add the color for it, but everything is working fine. Okay. I will go to the main activity and I will make a rename, refractor, rename, and I will rename it as question, questions list activity. I have refractored it and I need to refractor the layout that is specific for it. Okay. Layout question questions list. Okay. It's fine. Now I need to uh, later on I will um, make a, a grouping and ordering of these uh, classes and uh, activities. Don't worry and then make it as pretty as I can. Let's instantiate our recycler view and add the adapter 
and add the view holder for this classes. Now, private questions adapter. I will create an internal uh, class or and I will make an internal interface called on question click listener. And I uh, will configure it later on in this uh, video. Okay. This section is for recycler view and recycler view adapter. Remember guys, our uh, application is a uh, sectioned into two main uh, parts the ui which is uh, initializing the recycler view and the networking part networking part in the next videos we are going to uh, configure it so i have created the questions adapter extend recycler view dot adapter and i will make questions adapter dot questions view holder questions view holder also i needed to create it here inside the class questions adapter and i will create a private final on questions click listener an instance of the interface that we have created before but uh, uh, but uh, i will implement it later on as I told you, another variable is called the list of question, the question class that I'm going to configure it in the networking uh, section uh, and the networking uh, videos uh, later on. So list question, it's called M questions list, new array list. Okay. So this is the question, this, the question class, as I told you, we will configure it and make it uh, with a retrofit call and retrofit uh, responses uh, to retrieve the data. So this question will uh, act as a model class for our uh, response and what data we need to get from the web. Okay. So. I'm making now the view holder public class questions view holder question view holder extend the recycler view view holder and I will create the constructor for it and I will make a variable text view that I'm going to instantiate and pass the questions title uh, for it public text view m title importing text view m title equal view or item view dot find view by id r dot id dot text title okay we are getting the data and the layout from uh, the list item layout that we have created before. Public questions adapter. On questions, uh, on question click listener that we are going to use in order to allow the user to go to the activity details activities or details activity and display the body of the question but and the answer of it. But till now uh, we have the I have an error here. Okay, M questions. M on click on question click listener equal M uh, or without M on question click listener. Everything is working fine. I will make a this is I think the constructor. And public void I think I have missed how to write how to write it okay okay I have missed this the angle bracket 
okay and i need to implement the methods on create on bind view and get item i will cut them and paste them here okay underneath the questions adapter the constructor okay the constructor is also so all solved because we have missed the angle brackets now i will make a method called uh, bind data public void bind data it passes in the parameter the list of questions and questions m questions list equal new array list i am just initializing the it the list and passing the questions to it and notify data set the change now let's move to on create view holder if you want to learn more about recycler view and maybe and mastering recycler view please go back to the list uh, we have a playlist and we have a section uh, specialized for recycler view and you can learn more and more details from uh, basic and simple recycler views to the more uh, advanced and complex uh, recycler view uh, you can make on our uh, course so inflate.r.layout question list item and attach the root is false return new question view holder and passing the item view now let's move to the onbind view holder holder.m title dot set title question list dot get position dot get title we have an error here that it is indicating the get title but don't worry guys we are going to solve this in the uh on the questions um class so i hope uh, you continue with me in the next uh, section which is about networking uh, and this will solve everything every error in this uh, ui and layouts holder item view i'm adding set on click listener m question listener dot on question clicked and passing m question list.get and position i need to configure the on question clicked listener i'll scroll up that we have previously created and it's empty void question clicked passing or taking parameter the question and question The get item count returning m questions list dot size and everything is working fine we need to initialize our recycler view here okay initializing recycler view As we have learned, recycler view, find view by ID recycler view, and we need to attach, attach recycler view to an adapter that we have created in the internal class below. So, set layout manager, new layout, linear layout manager. It's making it as the default linear layout manager. And then question adapter equal new question, ad questions adapter, new on question click listener and setting a question click listener till now uh, for the first uh, five or six videos we are not going to use the the click listener uh, because we are going uh, to implement the single or, or uh, implement the getting as a questions or last active questions and display questions inside a list view or a recycler view on the main activity when the user app opens the app and later on we are going to implement this uh, or use the on question collect method so we will create a details activity and we are going to use 
and configure get id method and will be solved in the question class so in the networking section in the next video we are going to solve get id and get title method and we in this video we are going to solve the questions details activity that we are going to create a, a new activity and not class i have missed this sorry guys uh, for this uh, i i have uh, deleted and i will create a new empty activity it's called question details activity so our application basically contains two uh, two activities it is the first one in the list that it is the main activity that displayed the questions last 20 active uh, questions on stack overflow and the second activity which when the user click on the question it will give you uh, and take it to the details activity okay we will not use or we will configure this class later on uh, this activity later on okay okay and uh, questions details activity contains a method called start um, I will uh, co comment it for now or, or in the next video and let me com continue with the recycler view configuration m recycler view dot set adapter m question adapter and here we have finished configuring our recycler view and the, the ui for our application now we will put the steps that we are going to to configure and to uh, achieve them in the retrofit configuration and the next part which is networking of the application we have configured the ui now let's configure the networking in the next videos what networking steps we are going we will add the retrofit configuration dependency of the library second step we will learn about the stack overflow api the third step is going to uh, uh, talk about the question class and configuring other classes and interfaces that are required for the retrofit uh, library and the fifth step step is uh, running uh, the application and configuring the security rules for it S security uh, network security configuration okay i have separated the uh the videos for aim for an aim that you will learn about it next video so see you next video thank you guys